Hey everybody, it's me, Zach, and welcome back to my channel. Hey everybody, it's me, Zach, and welcome back to my channel. I just, somebody did once upon a time ask why I introduced myself twice. I was like, that's a good ass question. <laughs> But anyways, we're back, back, back again because Amberlynn Reed posted a vlog on Friday and honestly, besties, I have just been busy. <laughs> I've been, well, I don't know. Busy is a, a loose term, but I don't typically post on the weekends. And in particular, this weekend, I was really trying to enjoy the great Chicago weather. Uh, once it gets to be like April-ish in Chicago, you gotta take advantage of the, the days where it's nice and warm and sunny, because at any given point, it could go back to winter in April real quick. In fact, I think this coming weekend, it's supposed to be like in the 50s again, which is not winter for Chicago, but was not like, it was like 70 something yesterday in Chicago. So we had to, we had to enjoy it. We've been trying to take Poe out to a dog park at least once a weekend. Um, now that we have a car and we can get to some dog parks a little bit easier without like, you know, taking him on a long ass walk. So, uh, yeah, we've been just trying to do some of that. Enjoy, enjoy our time and the nice weather. This morning, for whatever reason, I had an eye twitch right here. Noel suggested it's because I'm not sleeping well, which I'm not. <laughs> I'm really not. My shoulder pain during the day has been so much better since I started doing physical therapy, but trying to sleep at night and find a position where I'm comfortable, a fucking nightmare. <laughs> a nightmare. So anyways, I'm hoping maybe the solution is coffee. Like maybe coffee will make my eye twitch go away. I don't think that's how it works, but that's what we're going with today. But speaking of physical therapy, I have about 45 minutes until I have to be at physical therapy. So we better get into today's video right away so that uh, I can make it there on time. But anyways, the video we're gonna be reacting to today is called, This is Why It Is Hard To Lose Weight, The Weight I've Gained, and Babysitting. Bar vlog, which like, I don't know that Amber Lynn Reed is somebody that I would trust to babysit my children, but also I don't have children, so that's never gonna be a situation I'm ever faced with. <laughs> I mean, even if I did have children, it'd be very unlikely that I would ever be in a position to ask Amber Lynn to babysit my children. But, I don't know, let's get to- actually, you know what, that makes so much sense because I think the thumbnail of this video had her holding like some little kid guitar. And I was initially, without reading the babysitting part of the title, I was initially thinking like, what is that about? But anyways, it's hard to lose weight, the weight I've gained. Also, she still has been up on the Instagram. <laughs> Maybe that's a video for another day. She's talking about reaction channels, she's talking about why she won't. Uh, film herself weighing in, whoever, whatever, but never mind. Let's just get to get to, and if any of that's relevant to anything she says here, I'll bring it up. And even if it's not relevant, maybe we'll bring it up at the end if I have time, you know? But like I said, I do gotta go to physical therapy in less than 45 minutes. <laughs> so we do need to get to get to, shall we? I really am losing my mind from, the, from this eye twitch. Let's hope Amber doesn't make it worse. Let's go. Hey guys, so I have not vlogged today, but surprise! Um, you know, in my last video, I said I wasn't on track for a few days. Uh -huh. In total, I think I was off track about six days, and I decided to weigh myself Dang. today. And it's like I have debated back and forth: do I even want to post this? But it's part of my uh -huh. life. It's part of what I've opened sure. you guys up to. Sure. And so I'm going to show it. So um, here is me. Weigh myself today. Okay. Alright guys, so I have not weighed myself since being off track. I currently have the water running, so it has time to get warm because it does oh. take a minute. Well, <laughs> it's like, time to get hot because I like a hot. I was like, girl, why the fuck are you running the water? You probably don't need to run it this long. You really don't, does, I don't, I mean, maybe. What a waste. <laughs> what a fucking waste. Shower. So that's what you hear in the background. Alright. So let's. Wayne, Let's I'm, go. I'm nervous. Hello, it's ready. Okay. Stepping on. Uh huh. Five hundred point six pounds. 
500.6. Wasn't she below? Wow. Wait, wasn't she below 500? Didn't she get below 500? Listen, y'all know if you've been watching me for any given amount of time, I'll keep up with the various numbers that she says her weight is. I'm not a numbers girly like some of y'all are. Like she is. I think she said she was a numbers girly. You know, you would think I'd be a numbers girly because I do have a minor in mathematics, like my undergraduate degree. I had a ma minor. I originally was a math major. That's besides the point. Uh, but I'm not good at, like, remembering numbers is really my issue. Like, I understand how numbers work, you know? But <laughs> but anyways, I think she was below 500. Oh. Um, okay. I... Hmm. Hmm. I need to go cry. Oh. It's very unfortunate. I am back oh. in the 500s, and it's just like, I'm super swollen. I know I am. Like, I feel it in my legs. Not once did I, like, binge or anything like that. I do want to make that very well Okay. Known, that I just, like, overate every single day. Because my body was really, truly just, like, getting sure. used to and, like, adapting to the fact that I was eating below 2,000 calories. And then... It is it is funny that she's, like, you know, anytime she gains a lot of weight, she's always talking about, like, oh, I feel very swollen, blah, 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 blah. Which, like, I'm sure she does. I'm sure she does. But, like, also so many people and also her, her like, lymphedema doctor and specialist that she went to, according to her, okay, these are things that she shared... Um, like, have, have noted that there are things you could do about that. <laughs> she just does it. And you know, it certainly probably doesn't help is, like, all the processed food she got from Trader Joe's. And I think that that's, like, why lately, especially, people have been saying, like, okay, you're losing weight eating whatever as long as you stay in a calorie deficit. But it's also more than just, it's more than just, like, the calories. Like, like, you're eating a lot of processed food, and you're frequently someone who claim, complains about getting, like, swollen and having water weight and this, that, the other, and those things are typically caused by, like, really processed foods, foods that have a lot of preservatives and sodium in it, and so it's just like, oh, girly pop. I mean, I, there, let me also be clear, <laughs> let me also be clear, I don't give a shit what she eats, you know, it's her body, her choice, her body, her decisions, her body, whoever, whatever, you know, some people were like, Zach, I didn't think you went hard enough in her, on her, in her, I'm not trying to go hard in her, <laughs> not me trying to go hard in her, no, people are saying I didn't go hard enough on her for, like, eating the freeze-dried candies or whatever. And I'm just like, let's just be clear. I don't tell her what she can and can't eat because, honestly, none of that's going to matter. Like, she does not give a shit what I say she should or should not eat. I think some people in the, in the community at large think that I have some kind of, like, capabilities to keep her from eating shit she shouldn't eat. Like, she's going to eat it, you know? And that's... Me not saying anything about it is not me condoning it or not condoning it. I'm just simply, you know, saving my energy for something else. Saving my energy to say something that'll be funnier. <laughs> you know? Like, it doesn't take a lot of creativity to be like, hmm, Amberlynn shouldn't eat them, them candies. Well, of course she probably shouldn't. <laughs> of course she probably shouldn't. But I don't think you or Amberlynn need me to tell you that right like y'all know that and bam out of nowhere for almost a week i stopped doing that and i'm gonna say i was probably eating about 3,000 calories a day Damn. and my body is like whoa yeah so it's you know i've gained weight in sodium i've gained weight in weight and fat and water whatever it may be but okay. like since i do have lipedema and lymphedema um, my body holds on to water and fluid. The, the lipedema and lymphedema will never stop irritating me, though, because that she really, she said she went to a specialist, and, like, I'm like, why waste the time of these specialists? Why? And that specialist, in case you weren't around for that time when she went to the lipedema, lymphedema specialist, told her the best way to help manage that, because she will also let you know that there's no, like, cure for that, which I, I think is true. I don't know a lot about it myself. But then she, she'll say, there's no cure for that. You just have to live with it. And then she always stops right there to be like, oh, there's nothing. I just poked myself in the goddamn eye. And that was the eye that isn't twitching. <laughs> uh, but she, she'll say, she always stops right after the there's no cure. I, this is just awful that I have to live with this. 
And then not add in the fact that, like, her lipedema lymphedema specialist said great ways to manage it are eating, like, low-carb, high-protein, whoever, whatever. So, uh, we just forget that advice. That's, that's how she is with most doctor recommendations, is she loves to get the diagnoses. <laughs> that's why I've been saying, ever since she said she had this BPD diagnosis, I've been saying, like, girl, okay, well, let's do something about it. Because I, I know she won't. <laughs> I know she won't. And the day she does, I'll be thrilled. You know, if she she eventually proves me wrong and does something, I'll be thrilled. But I, I just worry and fear that it's going to go the exact same way that her, her lymphedema diagnosis went, which is she got tangible feedback and advice and did nothing with it. Very, very easily. So I'm holding on to a lot right now. So me gaining that much weight in such a short amount of time for some people would be very shocking. Uh -huh. For like the normal person, it's not possible unless you're eating so many calories, it's insane. Mm -hmm. But someone like me, it's rather easy for that to happen. Especially because when I was losing weight, like my legs haven't felt that amazing in so long. Yeah. And what I mean by that is like I had less fluid and like water retention Gr than I've great. had in years. And it was just feeling so good. It was becoming, like, just easier to walk and just do things in general. I mean, now. those are truly the things, then, that you need to hold on to, you know? Hold on to that feeling. Hold on to knowing what that felt like and use that as motivation. <laughs> like, like, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know, man. I don't know. I don't know. Now, like, that I've gained like 10 pounds like I feel that in my legs more than I feel it anywhere else um I'm holding on to a lot of fluid currently so it just sucks and I'm not happy about it but I wanted to be transparent yeah and be transparent and let's do something happy. about it the transparency is always she honestly I know in the last video is like oh I'm worried about being transparent whoever whatever but like to some extent, being transparent isn't even her biggest issue. I mean, I know for a lot of people that is because she she's constantly not telling the whole truth. <laughs> she's constantly leaving some stuff out. But her biggest issue is, is that when she does try to be transparent and self-aware, she does nothing with that information. That's, that's my personal take on it. Like, she can lie to us and herself all she wants, but then when she chooses to, to exercise some level of self-awareness, she doesn't do anything with it. Also, like, is my eyes freaking out? <laughs> I don't, I, I know, I tried to look at it in the mirror as it was twitching, and I know you on camera are not going to be able to see it, but it's, like, making me tear up a little bit. I, if if you see tears coming out of my eyes, it has nothing to do with whatever Amber Lynn's doing and everything to do with this twitchy eye. Hey, guys. So Hi. I'm really done getting ready for the day. I want to wear my hair down. I do want to wear lipstick and stuff, but I did want to just come on here and tell you guys I did weigh myself today because I got okay. back on track yesterday and I'm feeling really good about Work. it. So I want to add that here. Work diva. Okay, so it is the next day. Of course, after of course, we're automatically going to weigh the next day after one day of being on track. Let's go. Back on track. So let's see how the scale has reacted to that. Eight ready. Okay. Stepping on. Four hundred and ninety-eight. Point okay. Two. One day. Point two. Thank the Lord. What? So I lost two pounds. One okay. day. I'm very happy with Wait, that. two? I thought she was 506 or something in the last club. I don't know. I don't, <laughs> I don't know. See, this is what I'm telling you. I'm not a number girly. I already forgot. I will say the, the comment on the Instagram was somebody asking her when she'd ever actually, like, film herself weighing herself. And I just got to tell you, I've been doing... I've been doing this for a long time. I've been watching Amber Lynn specifically for a long time. And no matter how she weighs herself, you know, I think I think the argument right now is that people are like, you should weigh yourself so that we can tell that you're not lying, okay? No matter how she weighs herself, because she used to film herself weighing herself all the time, uh, the bar will always move. <laughs> the bar will always move for her. There will never be a way that she could film herself where people will believe that she's being honest about it. And I'm just being honest with you all about that. Like, she will inevitably never be able to film herself weighing herself in a way that people will believe 
and that's just how I feel about it, which is why I don't give a shit how she weighs herself on or off camera, okay? Alright, is the boogeyman in here today? Oh, it's me! <laughs> Don't mess with me. Have you, have you all seen? Have you all? I'm not big on TikTok. I don't do a lot of stuff on TikTok. But actually, one of my Twitch uh, subscribers, followers, uh, her username is Wauma. She made a a little clip of Amberlynn opening up, <laughs> opening up the shower curtain, and then it's me. I'll I'll, I'll just insert it right here for you. Do do do. Gotta go pee. <gasps> Oh my god, wait, what if... But yeah, we love uh, Wauma over on the twitch.tv slash the Zachary Mike. Uh, she does a lot of fun things like that for the community. She edits my little weekly schedules for Twitch, which I just realized I haven't made one for today yet. Oops. <laughs> but anyways, uh, yeah, thanks so much Wauma for bringing the laughs. And thanks Amber Lynn for, for checking and making sure I'm not in your shower. Do not mess with me. There's a rumor that I wear, that I wear. What? that I use slimming filters, I promise. I don't, I don't know that she does. <laughs> I'll be looking this big in person too. Okay, I feel like it's a compliment in a weird way. I it's don't, like, why is do it? people think that? But literally all I do is I film on my um, phone. I have an iPhone, by the way. So I film on my phone and then I edit on iMovie uh -huh. and that's literally it. Like there's no filters. I'm curious where these rumors- I haven't seen the rumors that she's doing it in her videos. I think a lot of people are like, why can't you post a selfie on Instagram without a filter? Because everything she posts on Instagram has some kind of filter on it, okay? But I don't know that I've ever seen anybody say that about her YouTube videos. I, I have seen people say that about Chantal Marie, Chantal Show, whoever, whatever, Flooby, Flutie Booby. <laughs> Flutie. That's a new one. Flutie Booby. Uh, but I haven't, I haven't seen anybody say that about Amberlynn Reed. When I start hearing, oh, Amberlynn is using skinny filters, I start to think, like, do I look <laughs> like a little smaller than no, usual? No, I don't. <laughs> Sorry. Like no, I don't. look like a frumpy. I don't, I don't, I don't. See, that's why I don't think I've ever seen anybody. Are you starting those rumors? Are you starting those rumors to make people think that? Because I, I haven't been reading those rumors. <laughs> I, haven't, I haven't seen those. I haven't seen those rumors. Mess today. I kind of feel like a frumpy mess. If we're being... Honest, Live your yeah. truth. But no matter how much I say it, that I'm not using a it's true. filter, no one's going to believe that. I, I um, agree. That's, the only time I yeah. use a filter, like, especially like when I post uh, photos and stuff, is like the devil horns. That's she, just like a fun filter that I just She fucking loves those de um, She loves those devil horns. Um, I have been better about taking unfiltered photos. That's just like a, a me problem. I don't know that she has. You know, just like a self-conscious me problem. But I have been becoming more like confident in myself lately. And I think it's because I am, you know, loving myself more. And I feel like the only way you can change and be a better you is if you love yourself. Because if you hate yourself, why are you gonna wanna fix yourself? You're not gonna be able to find- Okay, RuPaul Charles. <laughs> okay, RuPaul Charles. How in the hell are you gonna love somebody else if you can't love yourself? Or whatever, whatever RuPaul said. That why? when you're in the middle of hating yourself. Because I know for me, I wasn't able to like improve. I just got really nervous. Wait, is my is my appointment actually at 1230 or is it at 12? Fuck. Oh, wait, no, it's 1230. It's 1230, it's 1230. Woo, oh my God. Until I started to love myself and find that self love. Because once you start to care about something, mm. that's when you start to water it a little bit more and nourish it yes, a little bit more. Yes, let's get it wet. <laughs> it's something I'm working on and I'm trying to actively like improve on that every single day. So, you know, it's just a journey, folks. But yeah, no slimming filters here. Mm. Definitely no filters. I, I don't think anybody. Like. Did anybody. I'm using like skin filters too. Did anybody. <laughs> Genuinely, let me know in the comments if you, if you 
thought she was using a slimming filter. I don't mean that to be shady, but I know that, like, unintentionally it is shady. But, like, I just... That was never a concern for me personally. For me, personally, I just... I never saw that. No, this is my skin. I just have foundation on, so... <laughs> People were saying that about Chantel too. Well, it's a lot of like, I think you know, Chantel everyone might. <laughs> watches me and Chantel. You know, the reactors react to me and Chantel, and it's a lot of the same rumors. We both use, you know, mm. slimming filters. We both lie about our weigh-ins and rig the scale, and it's just a lot of the same. <laughs> nonsense but i'm not gonna be a part of that i'm not i'm not gonna be a part of that but i am gonna talk about it in this video you know like i don't wanna i don't wanna be a part of it and and certainly me bringing it up right now is me not being a part of it mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. i simply know who i am and that's all that matters so sure okay, so my plans for today i'm actually going to be babysitting my step niece and nephew okay so work i'm getting ready to leave now so i'm just grabbing my purse and i also have to stop by usps to mail off some important these, these fucking glasses work diva Bitch, those glasses are everything to me right now, especially on her face. I love them. So, that's what I'm doing. Let's fucking okay, go. So I just have my sunglasses on, so that's why you see the little sunglass marks. Literally hate that. Okay, I can't so even see the him. USPS, like, the guy was parked right next to a little, like, drop slot thingamajigger. But I just Ooh, handed my eye. What do you know about a drop slot thingamajigger? <laughs> what do you know about a drop slot thingamajigger? I would put my thingamajigger in the drop slot, baby. <laughs> Actual, like envelopes to him. And then as we were pulling out, like me and my mom, we both like equally have like weird anxieties and like paranoia. And we were like, why is he even sitting there? But then we were like, should we go ask him? So we ended up going back in. And then when we realized he actually is a USPS worker because he was like taking all of the um, things out of the little area where we like drop our stuff in. You know what I'm talking about? What is that thing called? I don't even know what it's called. Girl. But it's just weird because <laughs> me and my mom like have the same weird anxieties. We oh were God, like, so quirky. wait a minute. Like when we pulled away, we we're like, who the heck? And why the heck? And why did we just give it to him so easily? I don't know. It was like a whole thing. Do you guys relate to that type of thing? No. <laughs> no, actually, I'm sure I, I'm actually, yeah, probably a little bit. <laughs> I don't know. I'm anxious about fucking everything these days. Let's be honest. My hands up, Mom. Oh, look at the little foods. Wait, go back to the little foods. Let me see the... <gasps> look, there's a little croissant, some little french fries, little chicken legs, little breads. Little... Is that a pickle? <laughs> Is that a pickle? And some lettuce. Oh, my God, I'm obsessed. Oh, and I think those are some corns <laughs> up there. Yes, let's go. I love it. I love little bitty ditty. Little... <laughs> Little bitty itty things. Any, little itty bitty things. I don't know. I think it said titty in there somewhere. Um, <laughs> yes. Go, Diva. Professional. Professional what? Guitarist. Guitarist? Yep. Okay, Diva. Thank you. <laughs> Come on, right, talent. So I've been home for a little bit. I had a great time. Now I'm just chilling like a villain. Chilling. I'm actually editing this video and I'm gonna schedule it for two days from now because okay. I uploaded a video today. Or okay. day after tomorrow. Yeah, that's in two days. Okay. <laughs> I really do wanna try uploading more for you yeah, guys. Yeah, let's go. I feel like I'm doing honestly, a job. honestly, same. <laughs> honestly, I do just wanna say thanks everybody for being so patient. Um, I really have only recently been posting a Van Berlin post, which is not actually par, f par for the course <laughs> for me when it comes to my main YouTube channel. Uh, but it's all the creativity I've been able to muster, to be honest with you. And I appreciate your patience. And I hope to get back to some, like, regularly scheduled shit soon. Uh, but I do post all my re-uploads and my reactions from Twitch over on Zachary Michael also. So go give that a follow if you want more content. Uh, but I'm going to try to get you some shit over here too. So get into it, okay? <laughs> get into it. So far, like especially in this last like week or a little over a week, I feel like I've been doing pretty good. It's just been a hard time. Like 
vlogging i don't know like it seems like when i have more going on in life i film less uh, i don't know what uh -huh. that's about and i need to figure it out i need to figure let's out let's figure it out it's a different day let's go okay you guys so my tdee -E has been a very popular topic lately uh-huh and if has you guys it? don't know what that is it's literally just like a little she's topic. like She's like, all these things being popular, a popular topic this, a popular topic that, and maybe it's just because, like, I truly am just over here only watching her channel when it comes to things about her, and maybe reading the occasional tweet, like, from people I follow that, that are from Girl World. Like, I don't know, maybe that's why I don't know about the, the rumors about her slimming filters. But I'm just like, this is another thing, I'm like, is this a popular topic or are you just making it a popular topic? Like, I don't give a shit about your TDEE -E personally, I don't know. Later, where you put your height, your weight, and your gender, uh -huh. and it comes up with a calorie limit that'll help you lose weight. But She's people 33. are about everything else that goes into how easy it is for someone to lose weight and the amount of calories that they need to okay. lose weight. Okay. So I kind of want to explain that to you guys. Yeah, ex in the best explain way it to me, Science Lynn. <laughs> explain it to me, Dr. Lynn Medicine Woman. For me to do it is to do it on paper. So, as you guys know, I'm about 500 pounds. Okay. And when I put just those simple things, 500 pounds, I have 5'3", and uh -huh. I'm a female it comes up that I need 2,900 calories to lose weight. And as you guys know, I have expressed this so many different times that eating 2,900 calories makes me gain weight. It does not make me lose weight. And then people call me a liar, but I would like to explain why. Oh. So when I saw the lipedema- But I'm, I'm loving the infographic. Like, explain it to me like I'm fucking five. Let's go. <laughs> Let's go. She told me, estimation, I have about a hundred. Oh, wait, 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 wait. I, because my dumb ass was talking. Wait, I don't want to go back too far, but is she saying, is she now taking advice from the lipedema specialist again? She told me, estimation, I have about 150 pounds of lipedema on my body. Uh -huh. Large portions of that is on my legs, especially my calves. Okay. But that weight is not taken into account when you go into a TDEE -E calculator. So with 150 pounds of lipedema. Wait, why Why are we now? See, this is what I'm talking about. She only brings up this shit when it's applicable. Do you not want to talk about also what else your lipedema specialist suggested to you, which was to eat low carb? Do we not want to talk about that? Are we not going to address that? Like, why is this particular piece of information useful to you, but not the, not the, the piece where she gave you advice on how to deal with that. See, this is why I can't with, with Miss Amberlynn Reed sometimes. Please, girly pop. I cannot lose that weight by lessening my calories. I cannot lose that weight probably ever unless I get it surgically removed or I have the fat literally sucked out of me. So that would mean Let's just say I put 350 uh -huh. calories in the TDEE -E calculator because 500 minus 150 is 350. So that comes out to 2,100 calories, uh -huh. which I have explained several times that that is about the amount where I lose weight. That is why I tell you guys I try to stay below 2,000 calories and people are like, that's too little. I don't get it. She could eat so much and lose weight. That's not how it works. <laughs> Y'all don't understand nutrition like she does. <laughs> Plus, I have <laughs> done a lot of yo-yo dieting, which sure is have. not taken into account when you do the TD sure. calculator. I have a very low metabolism for several reasons. Not only that, but I... The, the, the literal infographic all written out on on college ruled paper is killing me it's killing me it's killing me that she really did all of this like i kind of love it i'm kind of obsessed because it's just so silly have gone through menopause at a very young age due to uterine cancer and when your estrogen decreases it causes weight gain 
It does for a lot. Oh, and even the little frowny face. Levels. Let's let's not even look into that because the TDEE calculator does not care. Do the it's the it's the it's the TDE calculator's fault that she, that she isn't losing weight. I guess maybe I don't know. And having a full hysterectomy, my hormone levels are crazy out of whack. Uh, all of these things affect weight loss, weight gain, your weight in general, and how many calories you need to eat to lose weight. Sure. So have you guys ever seen a skinny person eat tons of food with little she, to no activity? But she they, really is out here. right? Like, she she has given a whole fun fucking TED Talk <laughs> on a piece of, of notebook paper, and it's killing me. It's so funny to me! Have you ever seen a skinny person eat tons of food with little to no activity, but they never gain weight? Okay, expert on skinny people. All right, Dr. Lynn Madison woman. You never gain weight? Well, that's because every single body is different. Wow, thank you so much and for pointing that, that out. But there is metabolic rate testing. And the reason why they have that is because everyone is different. Like, so this like, really could have been a PowerPoint. This really could have been an email. <laughs> this could have been so many other things. But she said, let me get my, my notebook and pencil out <laughs> and write out a, an infographic for you. Girl, get Google Slides. <laughs> like, get, get a, a Google Doc open. Stat. That's free. It's free. You don't even need the, like, Microsoft suite. You can go get Google for free. Machine where you literally just blow your oxygen into the machine and it'll tell you exactly how much oh, yeah? you need to eat to lose weight. And they do that because of all of these reasons. There are so many people. I mean, the other thing that's so s slay and funny about, about this is like, she's out here talking like an expert and yet she herself has, has yet to do any of this successfully. She has yet to successfully actually lose weight and she's out here lecturing us. <laughs> <laughs> on the TDEE, -E. which like maybe she's right, I don't know, but like, all right, if you are correct, let's do something with that, Miss Ma'am. <laughs> you know, it's just so funny to me. Go through these things, and they can't lose weight. This is a lesson in comedy. Doing wrong because of things like a TDEE -E calculator, who only want simple things like your gender, sure. your height, and your weight, but never takes into account. Oh, it sure does it. There are so many other reasons why it's hard for people to lose weight. But the TDE like is the biggest. Have thyroid problems. Thankfully, I don't. But this is why when people tell me about the TDE, Fuck the TDE. I, I simply roll my eyes because there's so much more to it. Y'all don't understand. Y'all don't understand like Miss Amber Lynn Reed does. And just the gender and height that I am. Thank you guys so much for watching this vlog. That was so I funny. I hope you enjoyed it. We'll see you next time. <laughs> Bye. That was just like... Ugh, I love getting lectured by Amberlynn. Really about anything, because I can't think of a single thing that Amberlynn could lecture me about and be probably, like, in the right about. But... <laughs> But just getting lectured by her. Oh, that might be my new kink. <laughs> like, lecture me, Amberlynn, lecture me. Anyways, wow, that was funny. I'm, I'm gonna giggle about that for a minute. I'm so glad I watched that, even if I was a little bit late to getting to it. So thanks so much for being patient and watching it with me. I really appreciate you all so, so much. So thank you for being here, for watching. Um, and that's all I have for today. So if you're brand new to the channel, consider subscribing down below. Hit the bell button so you get a notification every single time I post a new video. Make sure to leave me a comment, hit like, click share, and follow me on all my social media. I love you all so much, and I'll see you all next time. Bye!